Kaki, now Kawa Tamutsang, Namuinga Na Umu. Good morning, everyone. My name is Markel Musgrave. I'm from the Pueblo of Nambe. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and they, them. Um, I am the membership and communications director here at the Coalition to Stop Violence Against Native Women. Um, and I'd like to just welcome you all and thank you all for joining us this morning. We're so excited to have you all. Um, but before we begin, um, I just wanted to share that this webinar um, will also be recorded. So anyone who's not able to join us this morning can still watch it anytime the rest of this month and complete the run anytime um, throughout the, the month of October. Um, and just a reminder, if um, you haven't registered, you can still, you are welcome to participate. We encourage participation with us. Just wear something purple and share with us on social media why you're running, who you're running for, and use the hashtags. I will run for them, um, DVAM2021 and Cycle Breaker, Honor Cycle Breakers. Um, I'd also like to thank Janice Lucero for her support in helping us coordinate our 5K this year. Um, and if you should have any questions about posting pictures or um, how to print your bib out um, or any questions just to prepare for the run, please reach out to Janice during this time. Um, her email is jllucero at gmail.com. And Curtis has it up here also. Oh, I think Curtison, there might be, is it JLA or just J Lucero? Janice. Yes, correct. JLA Lucero. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Just wanted to confirm. Okay. Um, so to begin, uh, our intention here in this space today is to have some time to ground ourselves with community before we run um, so that we, we can all run or walk and come together knowing we're in the company of relatives, cycle breakers, um, and those who hold the vision for a better future. Today we have a lineup of speakers, um, of leaders from all generations to help ground us and prepare our bodies for movement um, and so at this time, um, it's my honor to welcome and introduce our first speaker, our executive director at the Coalition to Stop Violence Against Native Women, um, Angel Charlie. So I'll pass it over to you, Angel. Thank you, Markel. Um, good morning, everyone. Guazzi Hopa. My name is Angel Charlie. I come from the Pueblo of Laguna, the old village of Laguna, and it is such an honor to be here with all of you this morning. Um, I decided to come outside today to try and remember and feel like what it meant um, to join all of you in person. The last few years we've been gathering on the campus of SIPI. Um, as I was preparing to get ready this morning, I was thinking a lot about our very first run. Um, we're now at our sixth annual run, and that first run was down at the Bosque. Our organization, in a lot of ways, was still trying to figure out how to put on a community run or a community event um, and how much it meant for us that so many of you showed up in person for that very first run and ran with us. Um, and watched our little ones as we ran the 1K um, up and down the Bosque, cheering one another on, honoring the cycle breakers, coming with intention um, to say a prayer for the person who uh, broke cycles in your life, whether that was you, whether that was um, your mom or an auntie, um, saying prayers for our little ones as they continue. Um, to engage in community and, and movement. Um, so, so I'm outside this morning wishing I was with all of you again. And I'm, I'm hopeful that we will be again next year. Um, we're moving closer to, to togetherness um, and building out what safety practices look like. And next year for the seventh annual, um, I will run for them we will be in person again. Um, so thank you. 
thank you all for being here. Um, you know, I wanted to talk a little bit about connection this morning and what this run has meant for all of us at the organization. Uh, it's grown and it's transformed over the years. Every single one of you who registered this morning, um, and perhaps maybe those of you who hadn't registered but are, are familiar with the run, um, during that process, you get online and you type in, who are you running for? And those stories, when they come in, um, we read them as a team. We honor the people in your lives. We sit and we reflect um, the words that you share, your experiences. Those are so powerful and they mean so much to us. We know a lot of you this morning are running for your communities, your families, your children, yourselves. And that, that practice of storytelling or, or shifting our stories is, is a way that we reclaim our power in a situation um, that might have created imbalance in our lives. So um, when you do that, when you share that with us, when you open up your heart and your experience, we hope that it brings you and brought you uh, and continues to bring you healing and connection. We know that that's how our communities will move forward um, is through connection, coming together. And although this year looks different again, although it's changed a little, we're still grateful that over 300 of you registered. We know that even more of you will join us um, just for a run this weekend. And that is still the connection work. That's the building community work that the Coalition to Stop Violence Against Native Women has been honored um, to facilitate for six years now. Uh, thank you so much. There are still opportunities to get involved with the organization for activities during Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Our theme this year is building generations and breaking silences. We, we ask that you join us when you're out on your run this morning, hold in your hearts um, who you're running for, what story it was that you shared, come back to the coalition and get involved. There's space for you in this movement and we need you with us. Thank you for honoring us and protecting us and, and sending us your prayers over the past two years. Um, we know what you have done has been hard and we're almost through it. We can feel it as the organization. <clears throat> and then before I hand it back over to you, Markel, I just wanted to, to share a couple of thank yous. Thank you to the folks who've reached out either through our social media or by text message or phone calls and asked questions about the run or let us know about the groups out there who are running. We know that, that there's groups all around the state this morning who are coming together and, and, and are running together. Um, and that means so much to us as an organization. Um, it's power, it's beautiful, it's cycle breaking. Um, thank you to everyone who will share on your social medias and show us how you were involved this weekend. Those are the stories that keep us going um, as an organization. So please log on to your social medias, share a short video, share your, um, your sign about who you're running for tag us, use the hashtags. Um, and then especially thank you to my amazing team, um, Markel and Janice and Curtison, especially to you, thank you. Um, you made it happen again this year. You've brought together hundreds of people from across um, the state, across the country and internationally. We know there's some folks joining us this, um, this morning um, from, from Canada. And um, I'm, I'm grateful I get to work beside you all in, in this movement. Um, be careful as you run this morning, hydrate your bodies, try and get in the sun as much as you can. Thank you again for joining us for the sixth annual I Will Run For Them 5K. 
Thank you so much, Angel, for that and all of those reminders. Um, we appreciate your words so much. Um, and at this time, I'd like to introduce um, our advocate coordinator here at the coalition, um, Tiffany Hiron. And um, I'm so, so honored, so grateful for the TIFF for the work that TIFF has done and continues to do um, in building relationships, in holding space for our advocates and really showing up for, so they are able to show up for our survivors. Um, and so I'll hand it over to you, Tiffany. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tiffany Heron, and I am the advocate coordinator for the Coalition to Stop Violence Against Native Women. I am from Shehuiftoi, also known as the Pueblo of Asleta. <clears throat> this run is important to all of us. You all took the time and effort to support such an important event that has had a huge impact on so many lives. It means so much to our team to see so many registrants who want to run for them because we remember those who we are running for whether it is for ourselves, for our communities, for our families, <clears throat> your voice is heard and it matters because you matter. You are the change we need to break the cycles of violence for yourselves, for your families and for your communities. I run for myself to give me the strength and healing still needed to carry on for my children and for the coalition to stop violence against native women community which is all of us, which is all of you. I'm reminded as I speak to you all today, the strength I needed not so long ago to give myself and my little ones a life without violence and seeing how that impacted changed within my family to start the conversation to break the cycle of violence. I am no longer afraid. I live freely and safer. I share my story and my voice with you all today, hoping to empower with a powerful message to no longer stay silent. I know how critical support is needed for our relatives experiencing violence in an intimate partner relationship. I know the obstacles they face because I have been there too. What felt like rock bottom and shame because of victim blame? I do this work for you all, for our tribal communities far and wide as a survivor myself to help and support as much as I can. I want to give you what someone has given me, support, love, peace, safety, encouragement, hope, and the opportunity to give that to my children after I had done my healing. Healing is life work. Be patient and give yourself some love and grace. Next, I want to share and honor the voices of those who are running with us today and tomorrow. I will read from quotes of our participants of why they are running and who they are running for today. The content that I'm about to share is heavy and I want to leave a trigger warning before I begin. But first, thank you for spending the morning with us on a very important matter. Thank you for your support Thank you for being the cycle breakers in your communities. We heal together when our voices are heard and honored. Justice is still needed for so many of us who are kept silent. The CSVNW team is dedicated to our mission of ending violence in tribal communities by breaking the silence and building generations. The solutions to violence exist in each of our tribal nations and pueblos. They've existed long before colonizers settled here. They are in our songs, in our ceremonies, in our prayers, and in the way that we have always had community care. Close your eyes and try to imagine a life without violence. We are still here and here we will remain. A special thanks to our fierce aunties, Peggy Bird from Kiwa Pueblo, Jenny James, Danam, Darlene Korea from Laguna Pueblo. Thank you for laying down the foundation for all of us and happy 25th anniversary. I cannot wait to be with you in community again post pandemic. We love you, we believe you and we support you.
I ran for my mother who escaped domestic violence and in support of the native women and girls in my country, Canada. All the victims of domestic violence. I'm dedicating my run to the victims of violence, to the Santo Domingo survivors, to the women who are in abusive relationships and don't yet know how to leave. We are here for you and your children. Be strong on your behalf. Suicide from trauma is not something acknowledged by MMIWG. I would like to dedicate my run to the women and girls who die by suicide from trauma in their life. To myself because I was a victim to someone I loved and cared for. To my daughter, to my mom, to a friend. I am dedicating the run for the Zuni community members who are mourning the lost lives due to COVID-19 and how we as a community can heal together, including the DV crisis. My coworker, myself, women in my immediate family, to my Native American sisters, I was her, and give my prayers and strength to live a life of love. My niece, Victoria Garcia, Acoma Santa Clara. She was killed by her significant other. Justice was never served for her family. I dedicate my run to the women who survive every day and to remember not to forget our sisters who were taken. I'm dedicating my run to the niece who finally found the strength to leave a toxic and abusive marriage after 25 years with her abuser. My Rayma Navajo community bring in awareness and healing. Native women impacted by violence and everyone committed to stopping violence against Native women. <clears throat> None of us are safe until all of us are safe. I dedicate this run to myself and my survivors. Let us continue to stay strong and be the helping hand to those who, need, who may need our help. As a victim advocate, I admire your strength that each of you have. My mom, she works for CSVNW in the MMIW task force. My wife for CSVNW. I want to dedicate this run to the former clients of human trafficking that I have worked with. I love supporting this organization and I am in all of the work they do. My mother, and all the other indigenous women who have experienced DV. I am dedicating my run for all the women, gay, lesbian, and transgender individuals who experienced abuse and were able to leave the situation and live a better life. You are the epitome of strength. Aheha for your bravery. To all my beautiful souls who are being challenged now, the survivors and advocates in domestic violence, to myself, I am learning to get over the past and be happy with myself. I am running to support the others who have been affected. I'm supporting my girlfriend. Dedicating to my niece, Britt. She is a survivor of sexual assault. Also, my late baby sister, Tuggy, who is a survivor of mental and physical abuse. Rest in peace. I will dedicate this run to honor the strength, resilience, and spirit of Native women and to all of the amazing Native women in my life. No one in particular. I will run for all of them. Myself. I need to take care of myself in order to take care of those around me. To the many women in my family, my friends, my clients I serve, and the many women who have faced and continued to face domestic violence. Faith Hedgepath and Katrina Lockbear, both taken too soon. I dedicate my run to the, all the indigenous and native women who've had the joy to know past, present and future. All indigenous women and children who have experienced violence. Crystalline Burke, Diamond Whitehair, both ladies were murdered before they were 30. Both had children. It's been 10 years for Crystal and one year for Diamond. Justice has never been served. <clears throat> For all the young women, we left them up in heart and spirit. For the women who raised us despite the odds, 
Her cam, thank you. Thank you so much for that, Tiffany. Um, so important to share um, all of the reasons that community has shared with us about why they're running, who they're running for, um, to help us just remember why we came here, set that intention together, um, remembering all of our relatives, um, who are survivors and those who have who have not survived, um, and why we're coming together to to do this work and be bring awareness um, and be in movement together and share, offer, give and receive healing together in this time. Um, so so much appreciation for you carrying forth those words and those intentions with us today. Um, thanks, Tiff. And at this time, I would like to introduce um, our Satya Ying, our circle of grandmothers from Table Women United. Um, we're so honored and so blessed to have us have them here today to lead us in an opening prayer to further ground ourselves in space and with community. Um, so I'd like to turn it over now to Evelyn Naranjo and Kathy Sanchez. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. What tamo sengi tamo? Be patient with me. I'm trying to learn this new technology. Let me know when to start. Whenever you're ready, Cole. Okay. Let me set up a little bit. Too sure if Kathy's on. Okay, good. So I have the music on to ground ourselves with the heartbeat. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
time I'm dancing on Mother Earth. We cannot forget where we come from. We cannot forget who we are. We are all here on Mother Earth. Today is a special day, starting yesterday. When we took the first breath of life, it was starting. Every day of our lives. When the creator takes us, we're still dancing. We're still dancing on Mother Earth. They put us on Mother Earth. We are sleeping on Mother Earth when the Creator calls us. We are we become spirits. We become an ancestors. Our loved ones call on us. We are their spirits. We help them. Today we are calling on our spirits, on our ancestors to come here and be with us. Takes all this energy. The drum beat you hear is our heartbeat. The traditional clothing that I'm wearing. As women, we dance. As men, we dance. Young, old. When we were in our mother's womb, we heard the heartbeat. Today we are dancing in honor of our loved ones also. Living on this earth, we have emotions. We have emotions of happiness when we give life. We have emotions of sadness when the creator decides to take. We have grief. We have emotions of anger. We ask the question, why? We ask our creator, why? On my centering, I have sage. Sage is honoring. Sage is blessing. Sage, we smudge ourselves. When we walk out, we ask in prayers. I'm going to light my sage. In my centering, I have the spirit of candle, the spirit of light who we are. In my centering, I have an eagle feather who's, who flies, takes care of us. In my centering, I have my bear clan, my spirit, my animals, four-legged. In my centering, I have my cornmeal bowl, which we pray in offering, my spirit bowl. Also in my centering, I have a glass of water. Remember, we are all water. 98 to 80, 98 to 99% water. So I have glass of water. Also in my centering, I have my little pumpkin that my 
garden produced. If you can see this, I am happy. My little pumpkin, we are celebrating today our food from the gardens. And then in my center, I have my pouch, my spirit of pouch that we carry. So right now, if I can have everybody stand and we're going to look at the directions of the south, wherever you're beaming in from, coming in from, we're going to We'll look to the directions of the south with the sage. I give you blessings. We're smudging you. We're asking the spirits from the south to take care of us, to be here with us. Now we're turning around to the south. Oh, I made a mistake. That was the north. Now we're turning to the south. We're asking the spirits from the south to take care of us. We're asking the animals, the spirits to be here with us. Now we're turning to the east. To the spirit of east. We're asking the creator and the animals to be with us today at this special day. Now we turn to the west. We're turning to the west. The west where the sun goes down. The directions. Now to the center where we are at. We are the spirit of life. We are the creator of life. We are the spirit of life. Now up to Mother Earth, down to Mother Earth. Nang o chukuyo. Mother Earth, who we stand on, who we run on for this special occasion, or we walk on at this special occasion. We sleep on at this special occasion. On Mother Earth, who we are praying for Mother Earth today. Up to Father Sky. We, we must not forget Father Sky, who takes care of us, who is here for us. In the evenings and at nighttime, when we go to sleep, the stars, the Agoyo, the moon, Ote. And now to us, we are the beings, we are the center. We are here. Umbi akin di wawuro akin hanan defi otunikko daing. No e wa hamba ho na ne chavin pare yo e wa otu wa ba pare perimendi. Tiu pevi akin di rawi a pare perimoi. Ambaho ne na biya en na bi chete in papa in toa in di me in di wa hamba ho di ayin kema hamba ho di ka ye na biya en na bi kuyo sa ya en di moni ne hoe ku kema he otuniko da en na bi pin di wari na wari kaya di otu wa ba nakat o 
Nasikat o Mohi chan di bo. The emotions I'm feeling is also with myself. Domestic violence, incest, alcohol, drugs. Was an important life in me, but now I let it go. I'm a survivor. I'm a resilient. I do not stay silent. We do not stay silent. We are the voice of our loved ones that have gone through tragedy, through suicide, taking their life, who felt helpless, hopeless. We are their voice. We are here for them. We give them love. We give them encouragement. We give them strength. We are here for them. We are here for the future. We are not just here for ourselves. We are here for the future. To the generations, the generations to come, the future. We are, we are getting of age. I am getting of age. So I am very grateful that you asked me. You asked Te Women United. That's where I started my sobriety. Back in 1986 is when I let go of alcohol. 1989, Table Men United. So for the many years that I've been here walking on Mother Earth, running on Mother Earth, I am grateful. So Kunta Woha, thank you. So at this time, I'm opening up to each and every yeah, one, of, one you of you that are here. That are here. Good da. Good da. Many blessings. Many blessings. Oh, thank you. Um, biak gindi sengi tamo. Oh gosh, many many blessings to all on this journey of of the walk, of the run, to remember and not to forget our loved ones and to be strong and to take to heart the message that our, that my sister, Elder Evelyn, has shared with us. And I am here in prayer with you and I will continue to be here. Call upon us and all your elder relatives for that wisdom to support um, we are all always in prayer and always in thankfulness for all those that have gone on and now they're our guiding light, but for all of you that are here carrying on and shedding and letting go of this hardness, this violence that happened, but bring in that loving guidance from our elders. So, good da. Thank you very much. Oh. Aloha. Thank you so much, um, Evelyn and Kathy, for all of that, um, for all you offer and continue to offer to all of us, to all of our communities. Um, we are so grateful. At this time, um, I would like to introduce, um, so we just heard from our elders and that was incredible and so grounding. And I hope you all felt that. Um, and at this time, I'd like to shift over um, generationally even um, to have a voice from our youth. Um, so I'm going to hand it over to Kira Toya uh, with Running Medicine um, to hear from her. So there you go, Kira. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for having me here. I am 
Did you hear him? <laughs> so we have about 60 of our running medicine with us in support of the coalition today, um, supporting the, I will run for them 5K. Um, but let me introduce myself. Um, hello, my name is Kiera. I am from Hamas Pueblo and I come from the Badger clan. And I just wanna um, show you like um, the support from running medicine. Um, right here we have um, Anthony holding his I will run sign. And we have a couple of our Youth and adults. Everyone here in support. Um, oh, they want to say something for you. We will if you'd like, you can be the camera and I'll do a couple stretches. Um, I think, um, Okay, um, but I think that just speaking about violence in our communities is something that is really important to me. Um, just breaking that silence and making it aware that it does happen and that we should be aware of it and um, and speak about it in our communities. Um, I know it's like one thing I don't really hear, but I hear of some of my relatives who have been abused or been in an abusive relationship or even some of my peers as well. And I think that's something like, something that isn't talked about a lot and it's just like, it's just something really important and something that I know that, um, that we should bring awareness to as well. And I'm just so happy to be here. Um, and especially running too, bringing in running as, as healing and how we heal as, um, as Native people, as Indigenous people, we run. That's what our ancestors did. We ran because it made us a step closer to, it makes us closer to Mother Earth. It makes us closer to our ancestors. It gives us prayer. It gives us strength to keep going and um, and to keep moving in our lives. And I know some of our relatives have taken their lives just from, um, from domestic violence and from these types of abuse. And um, I know they will always be in my prayers. Um, and I know we'll always be thinking about them keep praying about them and just bring awareness to this situation or to this, to this, um, um, to this type of abuse. And, um, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> I had it in my head, but, um, but, um, um, sorry, I just had it in my head, but I totally forgot what I was going to say. Um, but just keeping that strength and just praying that we lose, that we don't lose any more relatives from domestic violence and from abuse. Um, I pray every day to the sun and I pray for 
all my women, all my LGBTQ relatives um, for their protection and for their strength to keep moving. And um, and to bring a more awareness to this um, to this and that's why I am so happy to be here and so happy um, to move in prayer and um, and especially with the sun just rising to um, this morning it was very beautiful I haven't um, been up like this in a very long time but I'm really grateful to be here and um, to show my support as well. But I think, oh, everyone. <laughs> but thank you um, to everyone. Um, thank you for letting me speak and um, but yeah, I'm so grateful to be here as well and to be a part of this. Thank you so much, Kuntawaha uh, Tekanopa. Uh, thank you, Kira, um, for coming to the space with us, gathering everybody there safely, um, wearing masks, um, preparing to move in prayer um, to join us and, and support. Um, and thank you just sh from sharing from a youth perspective and using your voice in the many ways that you do. Um, so kundawaha and sending you strength as you run also. Um, um, so so as this, as this, oh, oh, Kathy, Kathy like were you bringing me? Oh, offering my blessings. Thank oh. you. <laughs> yeah, my blessings. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. And I just want to show you all the signs that everyone made, um, just really quick. I don't know if you could see it, but who they're but, dedicating, uh, they're dedicating their run to today. Run. Um, but yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, thank you so much, Kara. Thank you for sharing um, with us and with everybody. Um, just the strength and the power and community that you have there. So kundaloha. Um, at this time, I'd like to introduce and turn it over to Christy Trujillo, um, who's gonna further support us in preparing our bodies um, to run together. Um, so handing it over to you, Christy. Oh, oh we can't, we hear, can't you. hear you. Hello? Oh no. Okay, cool. Sorry, my headphones weren't, they were working yesterday, but not this morning. Sorry about that. Good morning. Uh, my name is Christy Trujillo, and I am from Esleta Pueblo and Okeo Wenge, and I'm just so thrilled to be a part of this and to help give back to my community and to lead you all through some breathing exercises as well as some stretching. So wherever you are, just come to a seat. Um, if you're standing, that's fine too. And just place your hands on your body. You can place them on your thighs and just close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, Begin to breathe in through your nose, just noticing what the quality of the air is like. And then as you fill up, what your body feels like. And then slowly exhale out through your mouth. <sighs> Inhale again through your nose. Your belly might start to expand, your ribs, may also take in this air, this life-giving force. Exhale, let it go. And take a couple 
More deep breaths, just like that. Just settling into your body. Bringing this awareness internally. For so many of us, we may be caught up with our thoughts, caught up with what's going around us, and we can lose this connection to ourselves. But we can always remember that our breath, this universal shared life force, we can all come back to. The air, the spirit of the creator, it surrounds us. And as you breathe here, Begin to notice what sounds you can hear. Maybe behind your closed eyes, you can see shapes or colors. Bring your awareness to your sense of smell. What can you smell as you breathe in? What can you taste? And lastly, what can you feel? Whether that's what's beneath your hands, what you're currently feeling right now. And with this next breath, I'd like for you to breathe in how you want to feel right now. Breathing in strength, breathing in courage, and exhale, let it go, so others may also receive and benefit. We can use our breath to be grounded and to come back to our bodies. Gently open your eyes, blink them open, hello, <laughs> and begin to drop your chin towards your chest, lengthening along the back of your neck, and then drop your left ear to your left shoulder. You might feel a stretch along the right side of your neck. and then slowly drop your chin back through center. Breathe here. Exhale out. And as you inhale, drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Breathe into the length that you're creating along the left side of your neck. And as you exhale, bring your chin back to center. Inhale. Lift the crown of your head up and bring your hands to your heart. And close your eyes. And I'd like for you to set an intention. We can use movement as prayer. It is part of our culture. It is part of who we are. And with every step that we take, we can remember our ancestors, those who have come before us, we can think of those who have yet to come. And we can also think of all of us here together in community, knowing that we are running for others, for our grandmothers, for our aunties, for cousins, for our moms, for whoever it is you are dedicating this to. Breathe in feeling your heartbeat, this connection to Mother Earth and everything that surrounds us. Exhale, let it go. And then inhale, slowly reach your hands up towards the sky. And then take your elbows Cross your arms above your head. I'll scoot back so you can see me. And take your right hand and hold onto your left elbow. And just begin to move over to the right. Yeah. 
You might feel a stretch here along your left side body. Gently engage through your core. Inhale back to center, release your arms up, reach up towards the sky. And as you exhale, cross your arms again, left hand on top of your right elbow. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach over to the left. Yeah, you might notice a difference between your right side and your left side. That's okay. <laughs> Inhale, come back to center. Reach your hands up. Spread your fingers wide. And then exhale, cactus your arms. So bring them here. Inhale, look up. Exhale, give yourself a hug. Give yourself some gratitude for showing up today and doing this work. Feel your body. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Thank your body for all that it has done for you, all that it will do, and for where you are now. Inhale, open up, cactus your arms. Widen across your collarbones and your chest, greeting the sun. And then as you exhale, give yourself a hug again, this time crossing your left opposite elbow on top. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Again, feeling your physical body. Inhale, cactus your arms. Exhale, bring your hands back to the tops of your knees. Sit up nice and tall. You can keep your eyes closed for this, but inhale to roll your shoulders up towards your ears. And as you exhale, let them fall down your back. So many of us can hold tension in our shoulders. So just start to do these shoulder rolls, just to start to loosen up our bodies, warming up. And then drop your shoulders down. And we'll go in the opposite direction. Inhale, shoulders up towards your ears and roll them forward. Imagine making big circles with your shoulders. I remember growing up in the village in Isleta and my grandma would always tell me like, go run outside, go play outside. <laughs> For so many years, you know, that's how we were raised to have this connection to the land. And with every step that you take, every step that we take, we're moving forward. Shoulders are feeling nice and loose. <laughs> Come back to center, keep your hands on your thighs. And come back to that breathing. Close your eyes. Inhale through your nose. Breathe into your belly. Exhale, let it go. Take four more breaths like that to create your centering, to create your grounding. Sometimes when we get stuck in our heads, we may not remember to come back to our bodies. And I want you to remember that you can breathe in how you want to feel. And your breath can also connect you back to yourself. Take one more breath here. Exhale, let it go. And then slowly start to make your way to a standing position. So I'm gonna stand a little bit farther here. Yeah, take your time. I'm just gonna move my screen. And from standing, take a look at your feet. You can have them be hips width distance. Inhale, reach your hands up towards the sky. And then exhale, fold forward. So you're gonna bend from your hips. Your hands can come down to your shins or to the earth and let your head hang heavy. And just sway from side to side. You can take opposite elbows in opposite hands, just swaying like this. Imagine whatever you don't need rolling off your back. Release your hands down. Inhale to a half lift, 
Bring your hands to your shins and look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift again. Exhale, fold from your hips. If you can feel this in your hamstrings, bend your knees a little bit more. Inhale, begin to bend through your knees and roll up, coming to standing. And from here, turn your hands so they're facing forward. Yeah, there you go. And just begin to shift the weight into your toes and into your heels, just rocking back and forth. As you shift forward, you're moving into your future. As you shift back, we can recognize the past. And as these movements become slower and you come to stillness, coming to standing, we are here together in this present moment, the center of creation. And each step that you take moving forward is a way to help move towards a happier future, a better life, leaving what no longer serves us behind us. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step your left foot back, coming into a low lunge. So your right knee is stacked on top of your right ankle. Inhale, look forward. And really lengthen through the back of your leg. Exhale, step your left foot forward again into your fold. Let your head be heavy. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold from your hips. Inhale, rise to standing. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, half lift. Your hands can come to your shins. And as you exhale, step your right foot back behind you. Low lunge. Now you might feel this in your hands or your Hip flexor, inhale, look forward. Exhale, breathe here. Inhale, step forward. Let your head be heavy, start to shake it out. And then inhale, slowly bend through your knees. Roll up to come to standing. And then just start to shake your body. We can sometimes hold a lot of things in our shoulders, in our legs. And whenever we can move our bodies, we can think of these movements as a form of prayer, as a way for us to reconnect to ourselves and what's important. Now I'd like to acknowledge the land that I am on. I'm originally from Tiwa land, <laughs> but I am here in Denver, Colorado. And as much as I wish I could be there in New Mexico to go run with you, I'm going to go outside and run later today to honor the Arapaho, the Ute, and the Cheyenne peoples who have originally stewarded this land. Every time that you take a step Know that you are moving forward and you can come back to your breath to use that as a way to gain strength, to know that you are strong and to remember this connection to your heartbeat, to your mother, to this greater world that we live in. We give thanks to Mother Earth, to Father Sky, to all of you who have come here to be a part of this, to our elders, Erkan, thank you. Kundawaha, thank you so much, Christy. Um, so much appreciation for, for all of that, for preparing our bodies, for grounding us in, space, in this space and time together. 
um, yeah, that felt really good. Um, and I hope everybody felt the benefits of that in their body as you got more oxygen into your body and felt connected to the earth and to the ground and to everything around you. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling really grateful for each person, each offering that was given to us in this space to come together. Um, and Evelyn, I saw your hand was up um, for a moment there. I didn't know if you wanted to say something else or you had a question. I'm walking around. Can you see me? Your video is not on, but we can hear you. Okay, there, I turned it on. <laughs> I apologize. I like I said, I, I'm not an IT person, so I might, must have uh, pressed a hand. But I'm I'm getting ready to leave. I'm I'm picking up some grandkids, and we're headed up to the pumpkin patch. And I pray that each and every one of you have a good day. And the energy that I felt this morning, I give each and every one of you blessings. And have a good day and a good run. So thank you. Good day. Bye. Bye. Good day. Awesome. Okay. So thank you all. At this time, I'd really just love to um, extend our deepest gratitude to to all of our speakers, all of you who offered um, grounding and prayers and support and your words and your voice. Um, so may we carry that forward today as we walk or as we run. Um, and just remember um, that we are doing this in community together, holding each other up um, and, and may we join in movement and in prayer um, to end violence and may we bring, share and receive healing with our lands and with each other. Um, and also um, on behalf of the coalition, I'd like to thank all of our very generous sponsors, um, Native Women Lead, Keith Pryor, uh, the Pueblo of San Alfonso, the Pueblo of Isleta, um, also Synergetic Business Solutions and Forms Plus uh, for supporting us with our, um, with our run this year. And, um, and just a reminder also that if even if you didn't register, um, please still join us, wear purple, um, take a picture of your run of you on the land, um, share who you're running for and why. Um, and then tag us on social media and use the hashtags. I will run for them, break the silence, honor cycle breakers, and DVAM 2021, um, which stands for Domestic Violence Awareness Month 2021. And yeah, let's get going. Thank you all so much, Kundawaha, um, and have a good run or walk or whatever type of movement you're choosing to offer today. Thank you.